Welcome back to the Otana Coaches Show. Again, my name is Mark Argis, the Youth First Director in Otana, and we want to uh, again remind you you can see the Coaches Show on local cable, channels 8, channel 20 here in Otana, blip.tv on the internet, Facebook, look for Otana Baseball, Otana Softball, or Youth First. And we want to thank our spring baseball softball segment sponsors, Bremer Bank, Coles Electric, Federated Insurance, Harlan's Tire and Auto, Hometown Credit Union, Jostens, Cato Roofing, King Orthodontics, Legacy Signs, Oak View Nursery, the Otana Chiropractic Association, Taco John's, Triumph Graphics, U.S. Bank, Walzer Chevrolet, the Zappa Agency, and KRFO Cat Country Radio for their support of Otana Coaches Show, Otana Baseball, and Otana Softball. And in this segment, real excited to introduce you to our uh, three OHS baseball captains this year. So how you doing, guys? Doing real good. <laughs> good, good. Well, it was a fun day at the Twins at Target Field. I actually got to, you wanted to be right out on that green grass yeah. playing, right? So... Um, why don't you start out, we'll just start and kind of go this way, why don't you introduce yourself and just tell, tell folks who you are and what positions you play, you're obviously all seniors, so. Alright, all right, I'm Jake Buswell, I play first base for Otana Huskies, um, I, I don't really know what else what other, Well, what other, are, what other activities are you in, do you do any other sports or activities other than baseball? No, baseball is my only sport, but I'm involved in Young Life and okay. I coach baseball camps during the summer, awesome. so I'll cool. let you do that. Great, great, cool. Um, I'm Colton Shack, and I'm an outfielder and a pitcher. Uh, I was involved in football this fall and also played basketball in the winter. Okay. Hi, I'm Ryan Melcher. I am a left fielder for the Huskies. I am also a senior. Uh, I played basketball and football this year, and yeah, like sports awesome. a lot. <laughs> well, hang on to the mic there, Ryan. We'll go back this way then. So, um, so talk about the, you know this. You guys are all it's your senior year, right? So kind of looking forward to that. I know you're all itching to get out here on the. <laughs> on the diamond to get out of the gym, but, but talk about what your expectations are this year as far as the baseball season goes. Well, being senior year, last sport that I really ever get to play in high school, so I'm obviously looking forward to it. Uh, really looking forward to having fun with my final group of seniors, senior guys that we've been through baseball coming up through the years, so that'll be fun to wrap things up on a hopefully a high note. Yeah. Um, I always look to push ahead, improve every game, and see where we end up at the end of the season going into postseason. Awesome. How about you, Colton? What are your thoughts for the season coming up? Uh, I know we're going to have a good one. we got a good group of guys coming up. Uh, we got a strong junior class, and we return a pretty good senior class. So I'm really excited about this season, and uh, I just can't wait to have fun with the boys. <laughs> okay. Well, since this is the only sport I really play, I've been waiting all year to get out to it. And now it's been snowy and everything, it kind of sucks that we're inside. But I think we're going to have a good season. It's going to be very fast paced with all the games we have. But I love the group of guys that we have, and it's going to be fun. Yeah. So, talk a little bit about, you know, you, you guys are the captains, right? And so I know you've had, you've kind of been playing that role for a little bit. So, tell people what's, what's that mean? What, like, what's that mean to you? Or, you know, how, what do you do as far as your role as a captain on the baseball team? I mean, it means a lot to me. I mean, I feel like it shows. That, not that I'm necessarily like I am important, but I feel like I'm a part of O Town of baseball, and I'm the youth look up to me. A lot of people look up to me, and I feel like there's a lot on my shoulders and showing how O Town of baseball should be played, and I feel like I can represent that in a good way. Awesome, except for the hat. Well, we're in a, no, <laughs> well, I was off the Twins game. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So we were joshing you about that <clears throat> earlier. So Colton, what do you? Talk about what it means to be a captain. Uh, you got to be a leader. You got to lead your team. Uh, and the biggest thing is you got to you got to lead by example. Um, you want to give the younger kids an idea of what you have to do to be successful in this program. And if you give them a bad idea, then it won't be very successful in the future. So you want to get a good start for them. Good. I always thought of it as being a role model for everyone else that is involved with the program, setting a good example, leading by example, as many say. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully succeeding through different games and through the seasons that they have to come, they can look at me as an example for what that means awesome. and what they believe. Good, good. Well, yeah, it's, so far it's been great, you know, watching you guys out there, it's been, you, you've been doing that. So so what's been the hardest part about being uh, in, <coughs> indoors as well? Last year, we were out here, what, the second day? It was yeah. 70 degrees or whatever. So what's the toughest part about being inside so long this year? Well, first off, obviously with so many kids, grades 9 through 12, it's hard to fit everyone in the gym space that we have. So, But we manage what we can. Uh, playing catch, I think, is the hardest thing because you can't go far out at all. And that, I think, is the most difficult thing to deal with. Okay. 
Uh, I think the hardest part about playing inside is the white walls. Um, <laughs> yeah. it, it blends the baseball in pretty well, and it keeps you on your toes on trying to catch a ball. But uh, hitting inside is still pretty hard. Uh, it's a totally different at atmosphere outdoors. Mm -hmm. But being inside and getting this practice done, it's still preparing us a huge amount for the season and being outdoors. So uh, I'm glad that we have the time and the opportunity to still practice inside because it's helping us greatly. Good. It's hot inside. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you're in there swinging and everyone's sweating, but I mean, it's tough to judge a ball, how hard you hit it, how far you can hit it in the gym. But I think it's good to be inside a little bit because you can hear the coaches a lot more. You can get people in a smaller area and talk more. So, I mean, it has its up and its down. So you're making the best of it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Awesome. So what, uh, talk about a little bit about maybe what you like most about, you know, said baseball is your only sport. Well, when you tell us a little bit about what you guys love about baseball. It's, it's a crazy game. There's, you have a good game, the next day you have a horrible game like you've never played before. I mean, it, there's so many ups and downs in it, but no matter what, you always still love it. And yeah. it's always, the group of guys that we have, we've always grown up with, it's just a bunch of loose, fun, just mm -hmm. loving guys. And it's fun every time I go to practice, awesome. everything about the game. Awesome. Uh, I love the outdoors part of it. I love being outside in the warm weather and getting my tan on. Uh, <laughs> that uh, That's a big advantage. And I also just like being around the guys. And these are the guys that have made my high school career that helped me get through it. So I'm just glad that I get to see them every day and hang out with them. Cool. Probably my favorite thing is just the relaxation element, I would say, at some point of baseball compared to football and basketball. Baseball, I would say, is a much more laid back and relaxing show and I feel like that's my enjoyment of it also being outside that's always good awesome so what's the what's the plans for next year you guys uh, figured out what you're doing yet or what are you thinking about I am attending Winona State University and it's a big so. surprise <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you have a relative go there well follow the brother's follow, footsteps follow so brother. why not awesome. well and he's done well so that's yes good. very that's good awesome and I'm going to attend the University of Wisconsin Stout and hopefully try to play baseball there. Ah, Coach, Coach Cummins' alma mater. Yeah, I've uh, had a few conversations with him about yeah. that, so hopefully I can make the team and fall in his footsteps. So have you met with, because um, Ron Gardenhire's mm -hmm. son coaches there now, right? Yep, I've met with Toby, okay. and he's a yeah. really nice guy, and the way it sounded, I had a pretty good chance, so I'm excited to Super. see what this fall brings and trying yeah. out for them. Awesome. Great. I am also attending Winona State University. Are you? So okay. I, I applied there first, so he followed me. <laughs> <clears throat> That's great. What are you all studying? I'm, I applied under law enforcement, but I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to do. I might okay. switch to communications or something around there. Okay. I think you'd do well. You're kind of handling the mic pretty well. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm still unsure yet, but it'll probably be along the lines of some sort of business major. Unsure of which one, but I'm going to just kind of go get my generals done and then figure it out from there. Good. I plan on doing something in the business field also. Probably follow the father's footsteps and work at Federated someday. <laughs> so... So what, uh, while we wrap up here, one, one thing that we talked with Coach Cummins about earlier was this whole thing about the Brian Kane, the mental side of that. What's one thing that, that you guys have picked up and maybe that's meant something to you out of that mental side of the game we've been going through? Well, really just in general, I haven't really ever looked at baseball in a more mental way at all. And just the things, different things he's taught us about, the just focusing on different things, just letting a mistake go or simple simple things like that can make a big difference in how you play the game. Uh, the thing that I picked up most was about uh, saying that he says the next 200 feet, uh, just leave what's behind you and focus on what's ahead and just work on that so you can get the job done. Awesome. I picked up on routine. They talk mm -hmm. about routine and how you have to do the same thing over and over again to help you get better at it because if you change things up, it's hard to do it right. Excellent. Well, good. Well, great job, guys. appreciate you taking some time hanging around here after we got back from the game. And uh, best of luck. And uh, looking forward to seeing you on the, at Dars Park soon <laughs> once you, we get you. this all melted. So, yeah, and thanks for uh, watching the Otana Coaches Show, and we'll see you on the next segment.